Hello again. I'm just going to do a quick video today um, because I got a new laptop for work last week and I've been kind of setting things up and it's working pretty good so far. It is one of the HP Folio 9480s. I used to have the 8460 before which is the big fat clunky one and it was rebooting every time I touched the metal top. So happy to get rid of that. The Folio is pretty good. The only thing that's been driving me nuts lately is the audio output. I listen to a lot of music on headphones while I'm working to avoid distraction. Um, and the audio coming out of here or the dock is very noisy. Lots of EMF noise. Um, and then you can hear the fans and stuff like that working inside the laptop over the headphones as well, which is really irritating. On top of that, the drivers for it have some goofy, I think, audio customizations or something going on where the audio is very flat out of headphones. I mean, it's, it's seriously pretty gross. And I think they do that, you know, they equalize it especially for these tiny laptop speakers so you don't destroy them or something along those lines. Now, there's two options to get around crappy laptop audio. Um, one is an expensive DAC, like the Dragonflies, that connects by USB, or you can get one of these guys, USB sound card. Um, this is the older Creative SB0490, um, 24 kilohertz, they claim 100, 100 decibel um, noise floor, and it's got some nice gold-plated connectors, volume, click-to-mute, stuff like that, plus a lot more input-output options than I had on this computer. Now this was cheap. This was under $10 with a couple bucks shipping. It did not include any cables and as you can see here it does have some damage. We've got a nick in the corner. There's something shaking around and this volume knob, listen to this. Uh, gross. Something's definitely wrong with that. Um, I haven't actually plugged it in yet to test if it works so let's do that now and uh, see what we get. I just dug out the USB cable from my stash and uh, that should be about it. Okay, here's our moment of truth. Let's plug it in. I don't know if you actually need drivers for this or not. We'll see. I assume you do. <laughs> Fail. It doesn't turn on. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on. Maybe my computer is just really slow to pick up on it. There we go. It's picking up. It wants to do it through Windows Update. Skip that. Let's see what it does here. USB audio. All right, so we didn't really need any special drivers. Um, let's move this over to phones. I think I just run into some old Yamaha speakers I got kicking around for a project, so nothing too special. Let's fire up Spotify here. That took forever to load. So anyways, I've got something playing now. I'm running through it. We're not getting any audio out of our speakers here, and indeed I am not getting any power lights or any of that stuff here. Volume doesn't seem to do anything, but you can see our optical is lighting up there, so technically it should be doing something. I don't know. I'm going to check Creative's website to see if there's any drivers available for it. Maybe it requires a specific driver to fire up. Otherwise, uh, we will definitely be ripping this apart anyways, so we'll see what's going on inside. Alright, so driver is downloading. We do have a 38 meg driver package for this thing. It looks like it's more of like a unified driver, so I don't know what it'll do for us. Um, but I did have to show you this because I thought it pretty funny. This is Creative's new verification. They have you do math. Man, what if you don't know, like, addition? How the hell are you supposed to get your download? I don't know. But uh, good thing I had a calculator available. Oh, here we go. Super exciting. Drivers are installing and it detected my product. Um, one thing I do love is the background on this installer. It's pretty much the same creative background they've been using for over a decade. I swear I remember that from uh, even old like SB16 installers in, uh, what, Windows 98 back in the day? <laughs> hey, if it works, don't change it. Now, it just did something cool here. Oh, crap, it stopped doing it. The uh, power light was actually lit up blue for a second there during the driver install. I was hoping maybe it was ready to go, but uh, maybe not. So I'm going to wait a few more minutes and we'll see what happens. Alright, we're back after driver update here and you can see we now have not only the Sound Blaster listed but the spit if out on it, so pretty cool. And then if you look at the properties for this, Sound Blaster Live, 24-bit external. Um, as we change that gross volume knob, it is changing here and the mute function works as well. So, 
that's at least the, uh, it might sound gross, but it is detecting properly. We have a number of Sound Blaster enhancements, like CMSS and stuff. I know what EAX and the EQ is. That we'll have to find out. I don't know. Oh, you know what? It says right here. Up makes your stereo music for an enhanced surround sound experience over headphones or multi-channel speakers. Sweet. And we do, in fact, have the 24-bit options here. Beautiful. Let's uh, hit a test. <laughs> crap. We don't get anything. But we do have the light still. Oh, oh, oh! What? Is it possible... This thing is so slow on boot that, uh... I'll be damned. So there you go. It does work, uh, despite its damage. Oh, hold on. I got something for that. Boom. Problem solved. Got these sweet band-aids from a friend's girlfriend, Christina Zanni, so thanks for those. Uh, me ouch indeed. Covers the power light a bit, but you know what? That's good enough for a biotech fix. Um, but yeah, overall really happy with this for like 10 bucks or so. Um, and at work I'm just going to be using it with these Sony headphones, what are they, the uh, MDR XB950s, with some precision electrical tape blocking the port to take down the wompy hip-hop bass. So they actually sound pretty good in my ears. Again, I'm not an audiophile, so... This combo will serve me very well at work. Um, quick note on processor usage too, because I was watching this. Kind of curious if a USB sound card like this will make any difference over the onboard. And um, honestly, it makes no difference at all for processor usage. So that's fine. Wasn't really looking for that, but I uh, thought it might be interesting. Thanks again for watching this really quick and dirty video. And uh, yeah, if you need an external sound card for your work computer so it doesn't sound like butts when you're listening to music, um, definitely give one of these a shot. Very cheap. You can find them on eBay between 10 and $20. Um, I just happened to pick up this really beat one because it was the cheapest and I was like, hell, I've got cables um, and I don't really care about a cracked corner. So there you go. Have a good one.